And these examples will be given an equation or a formula and asked to solve the equation or formula for a specific variable. While this might feel a little bit strange, we're just really practicing the procedures that we use to solve equations. And one of the main things to remember is that whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must also do the same to the other side of the equation to maintain equality. So here we're given the equation y equals mx plus b, which happens to be the slope-intercept form of a line, as we see here on the right. But the goal of this problem is to solve for the variable b. So even though y and mx are variables, we'll treat them as constants in order to isolate b. What I mean by that is, if you can solve an equation like this, let's say 5 equals 2 plus x, then you should also be able to solve y equals mx plus b for b. To solve this one-step equation, we would just subtract 2 on both sides of the equation, and we'd have 3 equals x, so the solution is 3. So to relate this to the given equation, if we want to isolate the variable b, or solve for b, if we subtract mx on both sides of the equation, here we have mx minus mx, which would be equal to 0. On the left side, we have y minus mx. And on the right side, we're left with just b. So now this equation is solved for b. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, we want to solve the equation y equals 1 half times b times h for the variable h. And this happens to be the area formula for a triangle, again, as we see here on the right. So 1 half b and h are attached by multiplication. So normally to isolate h, we would divide. But if we wanted to isolate bh first, instead of dividing by 1 half, we would multiply by the reciprocal. So in this case, we'll multiply both sides by 2 to isolate b and h. So on the right side, we'll multiply by 2 over 1. On the left side, we'll go ahead and just write it as 2, since this is in fraction form and this isn't. So now we have 2 times a is equal to b times h. And now if we want to isolate h, since this b is attached by multiplication, we'll divide both sides by b. So on the left side, we have 2 times a divided by b is equal to, on the right side, the b simplifies out, we're left with h. So now this equation is solved for h. Let's take a look at one more example for this video. Here we're given the equation p equals 2l plus 2w, and we want to solve the equation for w. And this equation happens to be the perimeter formula for a rectangle. So again, if you can solve the equation, let's say 10 equals 4 plus 2x, you should also be able to isolate w in this equation. We know when solving this type of equation, we would first subtract 4 on both sides. and then divide by 2. So x is equal to 3. So we'll follow the same steps when trying to isolate w in this equation. So we'll start by subtracting 2l on both sides of the equation to isolate 2w. So we have p minus 2l is equal to 2w. And then the last step to isolate w would be to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So we have p minus 2l divided by 2 is equal to w. And now this equation is solved for w. However, we could express this in a slightly different way. Since we're dividing by one term or a monomial, we could write this as p divided by 2 minus 2l divided by 2. And when we do this, notice how this fraction here simplifies. So we would have p over 2 minus l is equal to w. So this form and this form are correct, just written in a different way. We'll take a look at two more examples in the next video.